What's going on? We're putting together a computer over here. A computer. The best part about Justin's rig is the cable kit. The best part about Justin's rig is the RGB lighting from Bit Phoenix. 60 and 30 centimeter Alchemy 2.0 compatible Bit Phoenix. All right, so the uh, there's the Bit Phoenix RGB, the most important part. Without this, the computer would be going uh, reverse clock speed, actually, yeah. like negative uh, megahertz. So over here, speaking of light, yeah, the lights, we've got the uh, Spectre Extreme LEDs from Bit Phoenix. Bit Phoenix has got us glowing. That is the Zotac GTX 1080, and that's the Mini. And it's extremely fast, so we're going to use that one in there because it overclocks so well, even though it's tiny. Size don't matter. For the storage back here, we've got the uh, Neutron. That's the Neutron XTi Fizen, 240 gigabytes, and uh, just super fast. It really sustains that 560 read, and uh, the, the write is 540, so 100k ops on that one as well. Moving on up here, we've got our uh, RM850 power supply hiding back there. This one is cool because um, if you're not running it at full load, the fans are just going to chill and turn off. They'll power on when you need them. It stays nice and cool and quiet, and it's also 80 plus. It's really important to uh, put, you know, high quality uh, power supplies into your system. Yeah, exactly. They're old and then they're power supplies. You gotta have it light up. All right, moving on up there, we've got the H115i. So the latest, greatest, 280 millimeters. And uh, it's got a Corsair link if you want to use that. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. And I, I like this one because it's, you know, every, every generation they get a little bit better and a little bit quieter. So there's that. Now for the uh, the heart, we got the CPU. Decided to go with the Core i5. Now the Core i5 is a uh, 7600K. This is the, uh, I guess, the best one as of this minute, but they're gonna come out with a new one because AMD very soon. But this is the best one right now, 7600K, very overclockable, uh, LG LM51, of course. And uh, we've decided to go with this as opposed to the i7 because it's mostly gonna be a gaming rig and the performance is almost identical for about 100 bucks uh, less. Also, we thought about the Xeon for a while and Justin's like, dude, I'm not gonna edit at home. When I'm home, I'm playing games. So there it is. Uh, moving on over, we've got, uh, some storage in there, four terabytes. And this is the um, Death Star NAS drives from HGST. These things have probably the best reliability rating in the entire industry uh, when it comes to drives in this price point. That uh, may be drives, period. They're just ridiculously reliable. And it's okay to put an NAS drive in a regular computer because, you know, it'll just, it'll just work and last and you won't have to worry about waiting on it to spin up and all that crap. All right, moving on down, we've got the Gigabyte. And this just has lots and lots of bells and whistles, and you'll see more about that when we do our build. On the table here, we've got our Corsair Vengeance LED. Just hanging out right there. Throwing uh, 16 gigabytes of that in there. Make sure you grab that on Amazon Prime now. This is the Bit Phoenix Aurora. Got a sleek uh, look to it, black and white. And you guys will see more about this. Got a nice side panel on both sides so that it matches. We'll see that when we do the build. On the inside, all this RGB stuff, it actually took longer to mess with, and I just finally said, you know, Josh and Aiden, you guys can play with the stupid RGB things because all these little things to plug up. The actual case took, you know, the actual build took me like 45 minutes, and then the uh, these little things, I was just like, screw it. So they, they put all those in there, which is awesome. You guys can see them goofing around with it here. They have it working. We finally, finally have it working in some capacity. These LED strips and these joint connections they're polarized. They've got arrows on both sides. There's an arrow, there's an arrow. But if you plug them in the wrong way, they don't work. Hours, 
hours. Days. <laughs> days. Literally days. days. Oh. Halfway there. Halfway on strips. I am so excited to finish the other wow. set. That is really nice looking now. Just wait. We'll get some of the lights more calibrated as we go, but um, it's looking good. We're jerry-rigging these cords because they tend to not stay together so well. So we're, we're just gonna put a lot of scotch tape on it. If only some of these cords actually clipped together better, this would have been a lot easier to do. We have to make sure it holds though. All the LED strips are finally put in. It looks absolutely gorgeous, especially while breathing. We have our switch working on top, switching to all the different colors we have available. Our last cord entered was for this tiny little LED strip on this caddy. And now that we finally have it in, it's gonna look gorgeous. We have a side panel on this, the uh, you know the glass side panel. It just screws on right here, so yeah. you don't have to actually put it in a groove or anything. So just mash it all down and yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna it be pretty if they try and open it. Gonna just shoot across the room at like warp three. <laughs> Kill the cat. Just launch the side panel across the room, yeah. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. We're finishing up the benchmark, so uh, Justin, this is gonna be your new gaming rig. How yeah. do you feel? I'm very excited about this thing. I can finally play games outside of the office. Yeah, so. right, what are you playing on right now at home? Uh, right now I'm playing on a MSI GT70. So That's not terrible. It's done the job, but it's just kind of fallen behind a little bit in the past couple of years, so All right, well, it's time, time to upgrade. Yeah, it's time to really do the job. A bit ridiculous, but why not? <laughs> you can turn them on and off. So up here on the top of the case, you have your uh, LED controls, USB 3, USB 2, reset and power, and then your, uh, you know, audio there. So that's our i5 with one of the best price to performance ratios for gaming uh, anywhere in the world, actually. If you guys like this video, you do things, and then if you didn't like it, you just do some other stuff, and then go get a shirt over in our store because that's awesome. And, uh, yeah. If you guys want to see some benchmarks, we're going to upload those to crit.tv just in the raw form, and you guys can take a look at the data and roll around on the floor and salivate on it and do whatever you like. So here's some gameplay footage. Bye.